Let me start by saying um, I love this movie. This movie is incredible. I think you're hearing that from probably everyone you're talking to. Um, for both of you, you never really know how a movie is going to turn out. Um, so what does it both mean? To, what does it mean to the two of you to be part of a movie like this that's arguably one of the best of the year? It's um, I still haven't really got my head around it because um, I've sort of only just realized how like how much of how much of an honor it is to be to be part of this because when I was a lot younger when I first started I I wasn't I hadn't watched that many films in my life only like like PG rated movies so so I think I'm very happy that that the movie has come out now because I feel like I'm a lot more mature and and I've I've sort of realized how like incredible it is and how incredible Guillermo and Mark and and the producers and the animators are so uh, so yeah, I'm just I'm just very happy and honored. Yeah, I would I would say something very similar. I mean, I just I think it's pretty surreal. Yeah, working on something and seeing like little storyboards and stuff like that, and then just seeing a completely, you know, finished, unbelievable, yeah, movie that was just wall to wall, just the best. Yeah, animators and directors and writers working on it. Um, and I almost I feel like I I played such a small. Like I always say to people, it's like I play real like in at least in the making of it, like I play such a small part in it. Like the the real you know actors and everyone of it to me are like the people that like really like you know shaped all of the characters physically. Um, and you know I only went in for a few sessions, and it's like oh sweet now this movie's out and it's incredible. Like that's awesome. Like I I got to come in and just like hang out with the most incredible people um so yeah i'm just excited about uh, yeah everyone yeah I'm, I'm just excited about the whole thing the whole movie when you watch the film there are so many sequences and moments that you could just sit and like study because they're so beautifully done when you watched the movie is there one or two sequences in the film that you're just really blown away by yeah the water um where they're like where they're in the boat and just just the water around them i had no idea how they did that that to me was just like i looked unbelievable um yeah i don't know yeah i on maybe the second time i watched it because when you watch a movie again you notice all the details and i was wondering i was trying to get i was trying to figure out what the water actually was so so it was actually the same as ben i thought that was really really cool because it looks like water, but then it doesn't, and you just don't know what it could be. But... Yeah, it could be like oil, or it could be, yeah. you have no kind of clue what it is. It's really cool. I think that a lot of times people don't really understand the recording process and what goes on behind the scenes. So can you, for people that don't realize or don't know, how would you describe like what the recording process really is? Especially the way Guillermo has done it is that he doesn't want us to act as the character. He wants us to be the character that we are. And I think people, 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 especially what they said to me, um, is that it seems a lot easier, but it's really, it's not because you're just on your own in a booth. And luckily enough, I got to work with Finn on one occasion and David Bradley, who plays Geppetto. But, but for most people, and most of the time, you're just in the booth and you have nothing to bounce off of. So it can be very challenging when when you have when you have nothing to direct the line to and you don't have a costume on or the set the set around you so so yeah yeah no yeah I, I i agree yeah um yeah you just you come in and usually what it is is yeah you record just line by line it uh and mark and guillermo will be on the other side kind of giving you notes and then in our case for uh, kind of our like heart to heart scene. We were like in person together, which was awesome. And um, just kind of got to run through it. Like it was almost live action. Um, so that was great. Uh, I've spoken to a lot of actors that have done uh, VO stuff and they always talk about, they dread when they're doing the efforts, like the grunts. Oh, I hate, oh, yeah. I'm so bad at that. I, I really, that, that to me is like hell for me. Especially the laughing oh yeah oh i couldn't i, I can't. could not i'm a bad you know some actors are incredible fake laughers and i can't do it it I sounds think, yeah i think at some points um 
it might not be me laughing or maybe it just is me laughing but really bad fake laughter because sometimes <laughs> I, I hear it and I just can't um yeah I, it doesn't sound like me but that that was probably one of the biggest challenges laughing. the efforts yeah the efforts for sure are, are, are difficult I think at one point my mom actually came in the booth to tickle me so <laughs> so that I actually did laugh and that I think worked I think that's what worked. Yeah. yeah. But I couldn't just stand there and go, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, yeah. That's I what I did. <laughs> yeah. So you're ahead of me. Yeah. Finn, I definitely want to ask you an individual question. Um, as I've spoken to you a few times, uh, you co-directed a movie, co-wrote and yeah. co-directed a movie. Uh, for, for people that aren't familiar with it, uh, what do you want to tell people about it? Or what can you tease? It's a comedy slasher film um, that's set at a summer camp, and it takes place at Counselor's Weekend, kind of before the campers get there. So all the counselors are getting the camp ready, and um, yeah, people start getting murdered, and it's this kind of ensemble camp comedy with blood in it. Um, and I yeah, yeah, I wrote, you should watch it. I'm excited for you to see it. That'd be awesome. I yeah, co-wrote and co-directed it with um, Billy Brick, and uh, yeah, we're in the middle of editing it now, so we should be hopefully someone wants to put it out <laughs> that'd be awesome do you have like a plan or have you guys talked about trying to go for a festival or do you know what i mean that's the thought is that we do something um but we are past sundance so you know you never know uh what could be what could be next my uh last thing for the two of you um what is it actually um which of your friends and family uh this is a weird question but which of your friends and family were the most excited hearing that you were a part of this movie? I'm not really sure. I think sometimes uh, my friends that are massive fans of Stranger Things, uh, they're all jealous of me uh, that I'm with Finn. And, and and my dad is a massive fan of just film in general and a big fan of Guillermo. So so he was very excited for me. Yeah, I'd say my, my dad and my brother were, my dad's a gigantic Guillermo del Toro fan. And so is my brother. Um, and uh, yeah, they were, so excited. Um, listen, I got to wrap. I'm just going to say to the both of you, congrats. Seriously, Thank the movie you. is so, so awesome. I uh, wish you guys nothing but the best. Thank you, man. Thank you.